Hey Natural Beauties, it's your girl Natural Journey coming to you and it is uh, a couple days after Thanksgiving. So I'm coming to you and I actually am kind of excited because um, as many of you all probably did, I did splurge this holiday season. And I was, I'm happy to report though that I did not eat meat and I thought that was going to be a challenge even though I haven't had meat in quite a while other than fish and seafood. But I thought, you know, Thanksgiving and the turkey and everything, I would really want turkey, but I didn't. So one thing I have to do is give a shout out to my sister. We went to uh, visit my sister and her family in Jacksonville, Florida, and my sister called me ahead of time. She knows I don't eat meat, so she actually did an extra special side of stuffing for me without any of the meat, and she made sure there were plenty of great sides, you know, green beans and collard greens and sweet potatoes, all these things that I could really have. Um, and of course there were lots of great desserts and sweets are my thing. So when I say I splurged, I splurged with all those great sides. Um, but one thing about my sister is that she's on a similar journey as I am. She's not quite on the vegetarian journey, but she's definitely into all organic products. Um, that goes from her food to her uh, cleaning products, um, trying to think, and just environmental things. Like she doesn't use a microwave at all. She heats up her food either in the stove or on top of the stove or in the oven. Um, she has a whole philosophy about vaccinations and immunizations. And if I didn't mention it earlier, my sister's an OBGYN. So she has a whole you know, medical slant as well as um, she's very much into alternative medicine as well. So I'm trying to get her to get a YouTube page, but you know, maybe one day. But she actually um, gives me a lot of great tips because she has two daughters um, and she uses a lot of natural products on them. Um, one of her daughters uh, suffers from eczema, but you wouldn't even be able to tell if you saw it. And she uses um, several products. I'm going to do a video about that, about the products she uses on that, on, on her daughter's skin for that. But um, anyway, I just wanted to give a shout out to them because they were, uh, my sister was very gracious. And while I was in Jacksonville, it was 82 degrees. So it was like, woo. And it was just wonderful, but I went jogging um, every day that I was down there with my seven-year-old niece, who is just phenomenal. Both of my nieces are, one seven, one's four. But the older niece um, has uh, participated in a triathlon. She's a dancer. She's smart as a whip. She can play the piano. She can sing, um, play soccer. But anyway, so we went jogging almost two miles every day and this girl was leading the pack. I mean, she had me sprinting and, and I just knew I was gonna beat her tail, but she beat me. And for every sprint, uh, I told her that I would pay her a quarter. So I ended up paying her $1.75, so that wasn't a good sign. But anyway, that was my great workout and I did that to kind of counterbalance my Thanksgiving. So I titled this video Thanksgiving Rebound and Vegetarian Protein because I'm excited because I'm now happy to get back on my health healthy wagon and uh, we all know in life we're going to fall off the wagon and we should plan for that and expect it and enjoy it while we're there but get back on that uh, healthy wagon when we can so a couple of things I wanted to share with you today because um, it got me thinking over the weekend and I've been thinking about this a while um, as a vegetarian one of the things when I talk to a lot of people and tell them that I'm moving towards that they always ask well how are you getting um, enough protein and so I've done a little bit of research and uh, actually did some research recently on my new droid all you droid users I love my droid but anyway I did um, I found a great website um, one here that's called the best of raw foods.com the best of raw foods.com and one of the articles on this website talked about the best sources of vegan protein and um, I, I looked this up because um, I started lifting more weights started doing more exercises and I wanted to make sure I could maintain my lean muscle mass and so I want to make sure I get enough protein so they said the best sources of vegetarian or vegan protein um, are sprouts, green leafy vegetables, nuts and seeds, um, other vegetables, grains, and fruits in that particular order, with uh, sprouts having the highest amount of protein per um, calories, caloric uh, serving size. 
um, sprouts have 55% protein in their calories. So um, the top uh, sources of proteins, again, sprout, sprouts, spinach, kale, broccoli, parsley, cucumbers, artichokes, celery, hemp seeds, flax seeds, pro, uh, pumpkin seeds, tomatoes, and almonds. So if you're eating these in your diet already, you're already getting a good source of protein. And I tend to eat spinach almost every day, and I'm about to start incorporating kale, and I love broccoli. So I'm sharing that with you because if you're like me and trying to go vegetarian, try and get a lot of protein. I also want to share two products that I just got today at the natural food store. Um, one is a protein powder. Um, many, Some of you all may have seen in my other video where I talked about my raw fruit smoothie and I mentioned some supplements that I started adding to it. And one supplement was whey protein and I put a disclaimer out there because there's been a lot of mixed uh, research about whey protein. And I read an article over the weekend while I was at my sister's house and it talked about how um, dairy products, particularly whey and casein protein, have been known uh, to been linked to cancer. And so I had just brought a protein powder that was whey and casein protein. I read it in a, a muscle, um, a weightlifting magazine that you should do this type of protein. So I started doing that, but then I read that and I was like, well, I really didn't want to do dairy and whey and, pro, whey and casein are derivatives of dairy. So I found a raw protein, vegetarian based protein powder at the Whole Foods store. Not Whole Foods, but it was Roots Market today. And this is it's called Raw Protein. Let me see if I can see show this to you. So it's called Raw Protein. It says Beyond Organic Protein Formula. It says an excellent source of protein from raw organic sprouts. And again, that's one of the highest uh, sources of protein. It has 18 grams of protein per serving. Um, it has live probiotics and enzymes, no fillers, artificial flavors, or synthetic uh, nutrients. Because the other thing I also found out about soy protein is that as women, um, soy protein leads to an extra level of estrogen. And so that's not good. Um, sometimes it could bring on premature menopause and other things and soy is also not good for men because men don't need a high level of estrogen as well and so I, and, and a lot of soy protein if you're not getting organic soy is made with genetically gen, uh, what's it called uh, genetically engineered cat genetically engineered protein so um, I would recommend not doing soy. Do your own research though. This is just my own personal opinion. I'm not an expert or anything, but I've been doing a lot of research and a lot of reading about this stuff. So anyway, um, try this. It's vegan, uh, gluten-free, dairy-free, no soy allergens. And I'm gonna start putting this into my fruit smoothie. Still doing my blueberries, wild cherries, pineapple. I got some bananas and I'm also going to start adding kale to my, um, either kale or spinach to my smoothies as well. Just trying to put as much uh, good vegetarian protein and vegetables in my uh, smoothies as possible. The other supplement that I got is this. It's, I saw it on the shelf too and it was new but it's called, the brand name is Juvo as in rejuvenate yourself. Um, and it's called Yoga Food, Natural Yoga Boost Powder Mixture, food for the bo body, mind, and soul. Made with organic, raw, non-GMO, that's genetically modified, I think that's what it stands for, foods, freeze-dried ingredients that are stress-relieving, detoxifying, and balancing. Has a high source of dietary, dietary fiber, calming herbs, boosting immunity and mushrooms, along with EFA. So it's all organic as well. And basically... Um, it's made of organic, raw, natural, whole foods, which support your stress relief, body stretching, cleansing mind and soul. Um, and so if you practice yoga, and I have another video about Bikram yoga, which I'm about to start doing, actually I'm going today at 4 o'clock. Um, I wanted to get this because if you do yoga, any type of yoga, particularly hot yoga, you have to make sure that you're physically and mentally ready for that type of, uh, exercise and Bikram yoga particularly because you're in a hot environment and you're it's supposed to help you de-stress detoxify but you want to make sure that your mind and your body are prepared so I got this and when I mean your body's prepared you cannot eat heavy you have to eat a light diet but one that has a lot of nutrients in it 
you don't want to have a full stomach because you will work both your internal and external organs you will detoxify your skin you're going to sweat um, and you're going to stretch all your muscles so you want to make sure you're prepared for that so i bought this i'm going to add this along with my raw vegetarian based protein to my fruit smoothies and I'm going to start drinking this every day. In addition to that, to rebound from Thanksgiving, I'm also going to do mostly raw fruits and vegetables. So in the morning, I'm going to do my Master Cleanse drink, which is pretty much water with lemon, a little bit of maple syrup, and some cayenne pepper. That helps to clear out all that mucus and um, helps to start breaking down some of that uh food that's in your colon to help your digestive system get get moving so i'm going to do that every morning followed by a my fruit protein shake and um i'll probably drink that like my mid-morning snack on into lunch and then around three o'clock three or four o'clock i'm going to have a big salad with spinach and probably a granny smith apple cut up into it some raw organic almonds probably some carrots maybe some shredded cabbage um, with my balsamic vinaigrette and a little bit of feta cheese and that's going to be my meal probably for the next seven to ten days uh, that's going to help me to jump start get back into uh, a good healthy frame of mind and get prepared for um, actually I'm probably going to just eat like that for for a little while before the Christmas holidays get here and uh, so anyway I'm excited to share that with you all if anybody wants to get on this journey with me uh, feel free to hit me up and we can do it together. But wanted to share that little bit with you and I hope it is benefiting you. Hope you're doing well to your good health. God bless you.